Hey, good morning guys. This is Stephen Howard, my dog, the baby bear. It's right here. And Yucca. And Rio's behind me sleeping. Uh, Lori's in the bedroom, probably doing stuff on her phone, having morning coffee. Uh, it's been a while since I posted any videos um, on the YouTube channel. I've been really busy actually uh, trying to do things as the fall to winter season changes. Right now we're getting some snow flurries and the season's changing from uh, or from kind of uh, summer, late summer to fall. And uh, we get a bit of snow and it cools down and uh, we have to get kind of hustling, getting our wood and our water and things taken care of and uh, get supplied so that you have uh, food and uh, different things for the winter time. But uh, I got to do something really amazing the other day. Uh, I was selling a, a whitewater kayak and um, I met up with a guy named Trey Harrell. Uh, Trey is uh, 20 years old. He's a uh, a pretty famous young paddler. He's uh, grown up around all of the people that I was growing up around. So back when I went to River Guide School, I've often talked about California's own River Guide School with Doug Stanley and Roger Lee. And uh, Roger Lee had a big, big impact on my whitewater rafting as well as Doug. But uh, I was in school with uh, Scott Lindgren and Stephen Wright. And some of the other uh, paddlers that became worldwide sensations. And uh, I did my own share of, of world stuff. Uh, I was number two in the world kayak surfing freestyle in northern Scotland. Uh, 1997 world championships. And I, I came right in front of Ken King in second place. And Rusty Sage beat me by a few points or a, a point. And uh, what an amazing experience to go overseas and paddle someplace that you had never been before and coastal town and um, the, the culture of the place that you're paddling and then the amazing paddling that you got to experience. So I was really relating to this kid. We're paddling down the river and both of us full steam ahead and we were talking about different things like sponsors and uh, good and bad and ugly and all the things, uh, you know, when kayaking becomes a business and uh, inherent risk and taking risks that you want versus taking risks that your sponsors and other people want. And um, it was just a really amazing day to paddle with someone of that caliber and uh Definitely check it, check out Trey uh, Harrell, H-A-R-R-E-L-L. -E -R -R -E uh, he is an amazing paddler. There's a, a river, uh, Zambezi River in Africa, and he's going down these rivers that I could barely probably make it. And he's doing flips and tricks and uh, amazing uh, flip tricks on, on the waves and everything. So I was really impressed. And um, I don't normally, you know, normally I'm teaching people or watching out for people. And to go paddling with someone that you, you both know you pretty much got it down. It made me really excited, you know, maybe uh, this spring when the rivers are up and things are going good, I can get Trey to come and, uh, be there for me and, uh, go run some stuff that I wouldn't normally be able to run and get some footage, uh, for video. Um, on the other side of that, I don't feel like swimming the lock saw again, ever again, really, <laughs> but, uh, we'll, we'll see what comes up. Um, I'm enjoying going on the rivers though, and the season's changing. It'll definitely be colder now um, to do that. And uh had a little problem with my dry suit the other day. The neck gasket kind of popped, so I got to get that fixed. But 
I just wanted to make another video. Uh, things have been hard. Things have been really hard in some ways and um, really easy. And, you know, as long as you have faith, things start to come together and then you manifest things. And sometimes you have to let go of things that you're holding on to. And I think that the biggest part of that is if something that you're holding on to is blocking you or preventing you from moving forward and making it to the next, you know, destination, that's when you got to let that stuff go. <clears throat> so, and then always keep something for self-love and self-care. And that can be your equipment. That could be your desire. That could be your ability to write screenplays uh, for movies. There, there's all sorts of things that um, you can do on the side that will develop into something amazing. And I, I think that's the point of what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, a few months ago, if you asked me if I would be paddling with a 20-year-old world-class paddler that knew all the people I had grown up with, um, I would have said, maybe, you know, Montana does have quite a few good paddlers. And um, there is a group, you know, there's a group of paddlers. Uh, I always pronounce his name wrong. Um, well, there's Gonzo uh, at Love Boat, and then there's uh, Tyler Brandt, I think his name is. Uh, who did the world record Palouse waterfall and it's really cool, sponsored by Kavu. Um, you got me, I live in Florence and I was number two in the world, sponsored by Kokatat and Lightning Paddles and Alamok Surf Kayak. Um, and then, uh, you know, I, I'm sure there's many, many more, you know, in Bozeman. Uh, there seems to be a lot of kids and uh, and the older veterans uh, that have been around a lot. And he was telling me about the rivers over there in the Gatlin. So I, I got to get over to Bozeman sometime and, and check that out. Uh, go paddling over there. But uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. My, my dog Baby Bear is getting some pets. Yucca sleeping. Rio sleeping. This dog is a Border Collie and a Belgian Malinois Shepherd. And he's a mix. And he is a really, really cool dog. But he has so much energy that basically 17 hours a day he's bouncing off the walls. And so it's been a little hard for us and a little hard on my rest. But, uh... Things are going good. Uh, you just got to stay positive, stay focused, stay on path, keep the faith. And amazing things are on their way. Um, if you've been going through a rough time, realize that it, it gets better. You know, it gets better when, when things are rough. It'll get better. So just take your time at it and, um, you know. Do the right stuff. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have an awesome day. See ya.